the the South African scientists that were saying this is a much milder variant of COVID is probably turned out to be a good thing because it's practically killed off the previous variant. It's a lot less deadly. Loads of people are testing positive, but very few of them are getting ill. In January of last year, roughly, or, you know, if you were unvaccinated and you'd never had COVID, what you saw then, there was a significant risk, much higher risk of ending up in hospital. And then they also looked at people who were unvaccinated, though, who'd had the virus in the first year of the pandemic. And their outcomes, because it was significantly lower, but their outcomes were actually better than people who had been vaccinated, who had not had the virus in the first year. So, so it's quite clear that, you know, you'd be talking about immune systems and immune system response. It's quite clear that having had COVID is having a real positive effect, especially when people are not getting so ill. What kind of frustrated me recently, I think remember that the COVID pass came in in England on December the 15th, they actually removed natural immunity. You could prove that you'd had COVID in the last six months. Then they removed that, which was to me absolutely bonkers. Hospitalization and deaths are the critical things for the most vulnerable people. Obviously vaccines would have been a bit of a game changer for them, but a rollout of a vaccine to every single person when you start seeing the facts and figures now that clearly doesn't stop you catching the virus. If you've had the virus, you've probably got a lot of protection. I think we've learned a lot, but I don't think government policy is caught up, I think, with some of the findings mm. that we're learning.